After years of planning, a tiny home village in Albuquerque is finally complete, and the first residents have moved in. News 13's Stephanie Chavez shows us. I just thought to myself, uh, what was it a year ago? This is an empty lot. This week, the tiny home village near Central and Wyoming welcomed its first few residents. And I still have this image of my mom, in my mind of this young man opening his door. So. He had the key and he was opening his door. Since 2016, Bernalillo County Commissioner Debbie O'Malley has been working towards that very moment. They have a key and it's a door. They, they can get to a point where they are employable in terms of their ability to get cleaned up, et cetera, get mail. The tiny homes serve as transitional housing for people who are homeless and are trying to get their lives back on track. O'Malley says the village would not have been possible without major community involvement, starting with voters approving a $2 million bond back in 2016. People see that and they want to they help. So we've been very fortunate in that, in that respect. While the project is officially complete, O'Malley says it didn't come without its fair share of challenges, like finding a location until the Albuquerque Indian Center offered to lease their land to the county. Right now, the city is facing the same obstacle as it works on plans for the Gateway Center. O'Malley says she hopes the village will show people how positive a project like this can be. I hope that people see this story and they see what's happening. They're like, you know what? You know, we could we could uh, support something like this in our community. Stephanie Chavez, KRQE News 13. The tiny home village can house about 40 people, and residents only pay $30 a month. They expect the village to be full by June.